Okay, well today I'm going to upgrade my old desktop power supply and make a new model that is, um, you know, better. It's the 2.0 version. <laughs> so let's go build it. I'm Lynn and this is the Darwin Orbit Channel. So you might remember a while back I made this variable power supply for my Tinker Corner and uh, I basically plug everything I built for the desk into it. Now over time I have pretty much added more and more things and it just couldn't keep up anymore. Not to mention, when I got the new Raspberry Pi 3 I realized it needs 2.5 amps, which is more than my old supply could deliver. I basically needed more power, more juice. So I got a new power brick here which delivers 12 volts and 10 amps, which is much better than my old one. In the unit here I had uh, two voltage regulators. But now I'm going to redesign and rebuild. The old unit was white and, you know, I never really loved that in the organizing unit. So I thought it would be neat to use walnut instead, because that would match the desk and, you know, just give it that really nice and dark feel. This time I used my CNC machine to create all the holes. Now I want to screw the walnut front into the side pieces. So this time I'm using half inch MDF for the sides and a quarter inch for the bottom and the back. On the old supply I used quarter inch everywhere and that's because I just glued the unit together but this time I'm making it more stable so I can use these beautiful brass screws to attach the front. Please listen carefully. and uh, a coat of shellac everywhere, which is also what I used on the MDF desktop organizing unit, so it matches. Now, to match the brass screws, I thought little signs indicating the voltage in brass would be awesome. There's something pretty great about the walnut and brass combination. I mean, I could imagine using this pretty much everywhere. So, uh, time to add the electronics. I'm also adding some USB ports on the 5 volt side. Now here's the voltage regulator I'm going to use, and this one can deliver up to 8 amps, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'm only needing one this time to set the 5 volt side, and that's because the power brick delivers 12 volts already, so I can feed that directly to the 12 volt side without having to uh, step it down first. Otherwise I'm adding a switch as well as a light to indicate whether the unit is on or off. And uh, securing everything with hot glue then putting it all together. So uh, all ready, and now I can plug in the power brick and add all the cords and power things up. Primarily I love this because of how practical it is. It's really neat to just have one unit to plug everything into and that way I don't have a ton of power bricks lying around that go in the wall. 
everything I use on this desk can simply plug into the unit. So it's a lot neater, plus I can charge things that require 5 volts, like my phone, or Bluetooth speakers, or the Raspberry Pi. And I can power other things that require 12 volts, such as my lights and soldering fan, right into the 12 side. Now I want to really thank my patrons, you guys are awesome! Each week I make a private Patreon vlog, like this one where I go over more thoughts about this build. Particularly, is it worth it to make really functional items like a power supply look really nice? It's kind of weird when you think about it. Now that vlog and many more can be found on my Patreon page, so if you want to gain access to those, and if you want to support and encourage my work here to help me introduce this awesome world of building and making to more people, then uh, you can check it out. So yeah, I'll also leave links to all the products I used in the description. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Go, 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 go